Hi, in this short demonstration we're going to take a look at the JavaScript bug that's in Capture 6, which uh, creates big problems if you want to publish your content uh, and deploy it in an LMS. So basically I, I made a sample course and I uploaded it to the SCORM cloud. Uh, right now we're in the SCORM cloud and we can see there's no completion status, no success status, anything on this course. So if we'll click launch and uh, open up the small course edit. You'll see it'll open here in a pop-up window. I'll just resize the window a bit. Uh, I'll just skip the text content, go right to the test page. So right here we have three different examples of executing JavaScript in Captivate. Um, the first one, it's a simple alert, a simple JavaScript alert. Um, however, if we execute this from within an LMS environment, we will lose SCORM communication. So if we'll try and click here, you can see we get the hello world pop-up and what happens in the background is that the LMS actually terminates the connection to the course. Um, we can still see the course is still active here but if the user were to continue in the course or if you had a quiz or anything nothing would be stored or picked up by your LMS. Um, that's a rather big problem. Um, this is Internet Explorer 9 uh, and that's actually uh, the only browser where you have the problem. So if we'll just reset progress <coughs> and we'll reset globals as well just for the fun of it and we'll switch to Firefox. We have the same course here. I'll just reload the page a second. Um, you can see no completion, no success status. Uh, if we launch this course here again we have the pop-up window opening uh, we'll resize the content a bit and we'll skip to our example and we'll try the same example here the simple alert we'll get the alert pop-up box everything looks good we'll click OK um, and as you can see we're still actually in the LMS environment the LMS hasn't terminated the session with the course so everything works beautifully here we can exit that and let's just for the fun of it switch to Chrome. Um, we'll just relaunch the course directly. Again we get the pop-up window. Taken right to our bookmark location. We'll click here and we get the hello, hello world alert just as we should. No SCORM communication termination or anything at all. So we can close the course. And let's just, one more time for the books, switch back to Internet Explorer. There we go. And we'll relaunch the course. We can just try the other example here. And, oh, that actually closed the window. Um, that was a more advanced JavaScript, if you will. If we go back and view what it is. Uh, I created a new function in the standard JS, which is actually just the same alert hello world we have. Uh, the, the difference is that here we declare the function in the standard JS and we're calling that function from within Capturate. Here we're calling the alert box directly in Capturate. So you will actually see a difference in behavior as well. So clicking here will keep our course open while the SCORM communication terminates completely. While clicking here, which is slightly more advanced JavaScript, will totally close down your course. Uh, that's actually preferable because then the student taking the course knows something has gone wrong. Uh, whereas here you could basically continue 15, 20 pages, do your quiz and everything, and once you click submit or end course or whatever, nothing is recorded at all. So, Anyways, that was a short demonstration of the JavaScript box that we hope Adobe will fix quickly. Thank you.